Okay, darlings. Well, since I'm going to be late on my RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars for Episode 7 review, um, I decided to give y'all some RuPaul's Drag Race tea. Now, just to let you know, I will be reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11. I will. I'm going to commit to doing a whole season, darling. <clears throat> Don't kill me if some shit, you know, pans out. But I'm trying my best to commit to doing a whole season of RuPaul's Drag Race. I've always watched RuPaul's Drag Race since season one. Now, I didn't really watch seasons seven, nine, and ten, but I still know all them whores and, and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back, you know, my free time and, and, and watch those seasons, you know, just for fun, you know, just to, you know, shits and giggles. Anyway, <clears throat> I want to come on here and talk about the season 11 girls. They released the season 11 girls, as you guys know. <sighs> all these girls, first of all, so far at least, I like all of them. I do. Um, personality wise. Um, and all of them are snatched in their own way. They all have great looks. Um, and a lot of these girls are, remind you of girls from the past because they come from legendary families, darling. And we're going to talk about that. So basically what they did, I actually watched, it was like 24 minutes or so where Adam actually sat down with each one of the girls and interviewed them. It was the funniest shit with Silky and Vanjie. I hollered and pissed at the same time. Vanjie is a mess. A mess. Like, I, I, she's so funny. Big Silky. They got a, a big girl on here. Big Silky uh, Ganache. <laughs> I live. I live. And, you know, I just cannot wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Okay. So, anyway, what I'm going to do is just pretty much play the video and, and just talk about each one of the girls. And um, Aquaria, they was hosting this, um, you know, as you guys probably seen, bring it to the runway. You know, each girl's on on each side, and they're going to introduce them. Aquaria is, you know, last season's uh, winner. Some of the girls thought that was rigged, but you know, whatever, you know. Okay, but here we go. Welcome back, the cast of RuPaul's Drag Race season eleven. I'm gonna stop it. DJ, each one of them. start the music. First up, Aquaria Chanel Davenport. Okay, bitch. Come on, puss. She's beautiful. Now, her name is Akiria. Akiria, now not Aquaria. Akiria. Shantae. Shan, Shan, Akiria Chanel Davenport. Real hood name. Real hood name. I don't know. It's too many, it's too many syllables. Too many going on. But she's fierce. She's gorgeous. And yes, Davenport. Which means that she comes from the legendary line of Davenport's. Kennedy Davenport and Sahara Davenport, darling. Yes, indeed. And um, her drag mother is Kennedy's sister. So this is the niece of, of Kennedy Davenport and also Sahara Davenport. May she rest in peace forever. Um, so, you know, legendary drag family. She's pretty. And fine as hell as a man. Ooh. Oh God, I can't wait to see some of these girls out of drag. And I may have to take off my, you know. But anyway, my little ashy arms. Okay, now Ariel Versace. She is from Jersey. And, um,. She, you know, makes wigs. Her and her husband are both drag queens, darling. And, you know, she seems cool. You know, seems interesting. Um, she's made wigs for, like, Trixie Mattel and, I believe, Milk and a few other queens on the show. So, we can see what she gives, you know. See if she gives more than wigs. We gonna see, child. We gonna see. Come on, Brooklyn Heights. Loved her outfit. Loved her outfit. Um, she's fierce. She's definitely going to be a tough competitor, I feel. Um, 
for her name to be Brooklyn, I don't think she's even from Brooklyn. Uh, I think she's from the South somewhere. But um, she's fierce, very Venus Delight tees. Um, you know, very Madonna T. You know, we've seen this look before. Um, the girls who look like this, but um, she's gonna bring some 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 drama, darling, for sure. Definitely rock and roll. Um, mm hmm. I'm here for it. Give it to him, bitch. Now that Now that little bumblebee Is Miss Honey Davenport Once again another Davenport She is the cousin to Aquaria Child she, but Except this one's from New York And Akiria I believe she's from Texas Where the original house of Davenports Began So they're cousins She was really close She's really close to Manila Luzon Monet Exchange is her drag mother. Um, is her drag daughter, excuse me. She used to uh, live on the same street as Peppermint. And she even uh, used to be a background dancer for Peppermint. And she also lived on the same street as Vivacious. So Miss Honey B, Miss Miss um, Honey Davenport, she definitely has a lot to live up to. Um, long line of, of fierce black queens um so we gonna see but she loves manila it was you know raised by sahara and all that um i guess sahara was like her aunt too and so yeah it's, it's very interesting it's very all these girls seem very familiar like we done seen them before we not heard of them before and you know obviously a lot of them come from you know famous um drag families so we gonna see if they live up to the hype child i mean you know we love the girls, but your mama and aunties them got eliminated too. So we're going to see if a Davenport or, you know, some of the other girls is coming up with the legendary last names. Is they're going to, you know, win the competitions, child? But you know, y'all know how RuPaul's Drag Race is, child. When it comes to the black girls, ow, I hit my, damn, um, who I hit my finger on that lamp? Shake it off. But, um, yeah. So yeah, y'all know how they do the color, y'all know. But we gonna see, we gonna see. I'm very excited, very very excited. Yes, let's continue. Welcome to Hana Montreal. Uh huh. I live for that outfit. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Kahana Montrees. That is Coco Montrees' daughter. Ain't that something? Come on now. Sha. She's bad. She's a gymnast. She used to uh, be a cheerleader in high school. She do cut flips and fine as hell as a man. Dear God in heaven. Very excited for Kohana. Kiano, whatever these names are hood, y'all. Uh. Okay, hold on. Okay, Mercedes Iman. Now this is the first Muslim girl, I believe, they have a part of RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, African queen. She gives. She looks like Kennedy Davenport, uh, mixed with Phaedra Parks. I like her. I like her. Um, it's interesting to see what she's going to bring. Now, um, here's this country diva, Miss Nina West. Miss Nina West was two-stepping down that damn. Y'all going to see her. I was like, get it, Nina, bitch. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Hey. I like her. I like her. I like her. She's giving me a little tricks and metal tease. That could be a plus or a minus. We're going to see. 
but I like her. I like old mother of the house, old two stepping asshole. We gotta go to the liquor house. Okay, let's see who's next. Plastic Tiara. Look how pretty this bitch is. Gorgeous. Vietnamese queen, Ariana Tees, all that, all that good stuff. Um, sexy Asian Bratz doll, all that tees. Uh, My Little Pony tees, just all that tees, just a glamour, darling. All her pictures are just airbrushed to perfection. She looks like she looks make believe on all her pictures. Very beautiful she is. She's Vietnamese, and she is Alyssa Edwards. There we go. She's Alyssa Edwards' drag daughter. So we got Coco Montrese's daughter, uh, Sister Kiana, and we have um, Alexis. And we have Alyssa Edwards' drag daughter, Miss Plastique. So, child, do the, do, is the daughters beefing like the mamas was? <laughs> we gonna see. I ho- I don't think so. That would be petty. I don't think so, but um, yes. Raja O'Hara. Raja She was definitely one of the more likable ones um, in her interview. I like her. She sews. Uh, she always has R.O. on her um, on her outfit somewhere. You know, it's her brand, Raja O'Hara. She did not mention Fifi O'Hara at all. Maybe those hoes don't like each other or something. But um, I'm assuming she is, is a part of the O'Hara, you know, thing with, with Fifi. But maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's a different set of O'Hara's. You know, how it's different sets of Joneses and Smiths. Um, so, yeah, but, um, she sews and she giving me BB's Harbin ATs. All right, moving on. She was born this is Scarlet and B. Scarlet and B. I love that outfit. She is her, she's originally from Kentucky, but I believe she's in New York now. A lot of New York queens, you know, New York's a bit city, you know, whatever, holds a lot of queens. She seems cool. Um, a tad bit bland, um, just from the interview, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. There's another girl that I found, uh, that I found a bit, you know, bland, but, you know, we'll see what she gives, child. They ain't got nothing to do with her fashions and charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Maybe she'll open up and... Fool the girls. Who knows, child? It's just a promo. Let's get going. Sugar cane. Sugar cane, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it up. I like that bitch. I like her. I like her spirit. There's something about her, you know, and then, you know, learning her story and everything. And, you know, uh, she actually has an online bakery. I don't know if she still has it. And you know, she's just a very caring um, individual, it seems. I really, really like her. Sugar, sugar cane. I can't figure out if she's black or not. I don't, I don't know. When you hear her talk, you think she's black. But I don't know if she is. I don't know, whatever. But the bitch is bad. I, I like her. She, she just seems cool. She just seems cool. Um, yeah. She 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 she, she she's just that fierce ass auntie that you can just go to about anything. I, I get that vibe from her. She's really cool. Okay. Give it up for Silky, not Come on, Fupa! When 
I tell you, I love Silky. Silky's interview, child, when they had the interview. Now, I don't know if they done shut it down or what, because I can't even find it no more. So maybe it was some foolishness was going on. I should have damn saved it on my phone. It was so funny. Silky's interview. Silky is hilarious. Silky looks up to Latrice Royale. And she is, I think she's from Mississippi, I believe, or Baltimore, one of them. Um, but she is so funny. I saw a video um, of uh, Silky, Silky Ganache, on her um, her Instagram page. And she w- that bitch was in the middle of the street. Like, <laughs> duck walking and dipping and, 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 and springing and doing cartwheels. I was like, come on, Silky. <laughs> She's funny as hell. I like me some Silky. When is a big girl ever going to win RuPaul's Drag? Has a big girl ever won RuPaul's Drag Race? No, I don't think so. It ended up in 11 seasons. Really? Really? Come on. Come on now. Okay. Now this is Soju. Find the beat. This is Soju. Um, I don't really know how to feel about Soju yet. Um, she seems pretty fierce. But she don't really stand out. Like the other girls do. Some of the other girls do. So she's really going to have to step it up in terms of, um, I guess, personality, character, etc. But like I said, child, it's just the promos. Calm down. And maybe she is. We don't know. Maybe the girls we really like or the girls with the high energy. They can flop real good when they come to the show. Um, so we're gonna see child, but um Sojo. I don't really have much to say about sis. Um, but yeah. We'll see. Vanessa Benji Look at this whore. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> and last but not least. I hate her. Vanjie's so damn hood. I, I tell you. Vanjie. 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 <laughs> sis back. Y'all know Sis got eliminated first with them little kitten heels on um, last season. Um, season 10. And they brought her back. <sighs> Hopefully, sis make it at least halfway. We're going to see. We're going to see what Vanjie learned, what she did in a year. You know, but she definitely got famous. She's booked now. So, we're going to see. But popularity don't really mean that you're necessarily going to win. So, we're going to see. But, you know, if nothing else, they're going to keep Vanjie around for laughs, entertainment-wise. Um, she's Vanjie something else. Have y'all been watching Fashion Photo Review with uh, Vanjie and Nina Bro- Bonina Brown? Hilarious. Hilarious. Um, so yeah, Vanjie's back and I really like her outfit. Okay, and last but not least, we have um let me just play it because I can't pronounce her first name. Is it UV? Something like that anyway. Evie. Evie. This is Evie. Yes, it's Evie, honey. Real interest, real milk like, you know, the interesting girl, the um androgynous ones. Um the ones that are not typically pretty or whatever, like a plastique, the Vietnamese girl. The one, you know, the ones that, that gives you, you know, um, something else. They still have like a touch of uh, maybe masculinity to them, to the look. Um, um, uh, like a trash bag queen. You know, she takes anything and turns it into something. Uh, very creative um, individual. So I'm excited to see what she gives. Um, she's she gonna go far. I'm pretty sure. Very, um, you know, odd, uh, odd. You know, kind of. Marches to the beat of their own drum, a uh, type of individual, and then you know, here come Aquaria. Thank 
you all for tuning in. Make sure you head on over to the VH1 YouTube channel okay, to check okay. out these beautiful ladies meet the queens videos and tune in tomorrow night at 8, 7 central to VH1 to watch All Stars 4. Yeah. Very excited. Um, I don't know when it's premiering, but you know, I'll be here for it. It's probably going to be on a Thursday, child. But yes, child. The girls are back. That was it, child. We are excited. We are. Um, interesting bunch of girls. A lot of these girls have a lot to look up to. A lot to live up to because of, of who they're related to, you know, drag-wise. Um, so, yeah. We're going to see. We're going to see. I'm excited for these girls. It's gonna, this is going to be a very entertaining season. I can already tell. The shade is going to be... Yeah. With that said, I'm Mr. Chalak. I now listen. I pay. I pay for the um, RuPaul's Drag Race on um, Amazon Prime, and usually it comes to my phone because it comes on Fridays, Friday nights. It usually comes to my phone about like 4 a.m. It ain't came to my phone episode seven, so I I would be reviewing episode seven now. But I don't know what the hell going on. Um. So I don't know if it's gonna come later. I don't know. Um, yeah, and I, and I tried to look for it on my uh, on demand, and it ain't been uploaded yet. So that video is probably coming tomorrow, or you know, whenever. So y'all stay tuned for that. But I just want to give y'all girls a little something. I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Iskinsworth Instagram and Twitter at Iskinsworth eighty nine on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. Run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. I love you guys so much. Stay black, stay tuned. Click that notification bell. Share, share, share. Like, like, like my videos. Please comment, comment. We love you all. Hope you guys have a great day. Great night whenever you're watching this video. And, um, yeah. <sighs> Be encouraged, darling. Vanji. 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 Vanji.